Hello everyone, this is Hyvis Harry here and today I'm going to be showing you how to either clip, morph or glitch walls into the ground, like the ground. So yes, without further ado, let's get started. Right, okay, I want to build a wall that comes out here, goes along here and comes back here in line with this. Now luckily I actually built this building here, the uh, the pub, in line with this guard shack over here. So whatever I build off of this should line up perfectly on the other side. Should do. We'll see. Right, okay, let's get started. So to start off the wall, I'll get rid of these and... Right, okay, what I'm going to need to do first is get some floors, like so, and then pop a wall, clip, uh, snap a wall, rather, onto this. Get rid of those. Now, once you've got this snapped here, if I just pick it up and move it slightly, if that fucking Mr. Handy can stop trimming invisible bushes, that'll be lovely. Uh, right, okay, right, good thing about that is I can now put this wall back in, now I've moved it slightly away, but it should still be in line, it should still be there, should, maybe, oh no, maybe I might have to move it away a bit more, come on Mr. Handy, get out of the fucking way, <laughs> Right, okay. Oh, oh, is he gonna do it? Is he gonna. Oh, there we go. Ugh, sorry, sorry, I might have amputated your appendage there, Mr. Handy. Uh, right, okay, so now I might as well get rid of these stairs one minute. Um, now we need to get. Right, okay, these floors, this bit, by the way, this bit is really important. This is the seed for the whole wall. Like, because I'm using snapping walls and not like fences or junk fences or anything. Like, everything will snap in a 90 degree angle to this item, so make sure you get this bit right. Okay, so these these floors in particular, the bits with the sort of sheets of ply just sort of plonked on top of um, a couple of joists, these are brilliant because these will literally sink almost entirely into any ground, like, as in you won't be able to see the top at all. So they're really good for this sort of thing. Right, okay, uh... First bit of wall, pop you down there. If I could just, oh, oh, we're going to have to do a bit of, oh, oh, bit of squeeze, squeeze, squeeze it in there. Oh, come on. Okay, I don't think that one's playing right. Okay, we might be able to do it with a smaller floor. Sometimes they work. Okay, pop one down there. Okay, are you going to, you going to play with me? You gonna, you going to play nice? But, oh, this, there we go. Lovely. Okay, I might as well close up that uh, bit there. Actually, I'll use that one. Lovely. Okay, handsome job. Now, now we've glitched this first one in. Every wall I now place adjacent to this one should clip in exactly the same way on exactly the same level, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so another bit of wall. Lovely. Lovely jumbly. Okay. One there. Uh, actually, do you know what I might? I might mix it up a little bit. Go for a, uh, a metal wall there. Just so it makes it look a bit more shitty. Lovely. Okay, now... This bit, I don't think... Yeah, see, we're not going to be able to use the little floors here. We're going to have to use the, uh, the glitch master. There we go. Look, that fits perfectly. Okay, uh, go for that one there. Get rid of that now. Um, and now pop that one there. And like I said, if I've done this right, it should line up perfectly with that. If I've done it right. Uh, okay, and actually, yep, and I might put another metal one in there just to mix it up a bit. And okay, and have I ever used that one? Nope. And then the last little holy one in there. Oh, look at that! It's, oh god, just literally like pfft, fucking 
like it was done by a fucking god. Right. Okay, that is literally it. Like, if you want to glitch walls into the ground, you have to use, like, you have to sort of build it in order from the floor from a lower point. So if you see, I've started over here. This is at a lower point in the overall ground. But for some reason, the game will prioritise snapping items over them clipping. So it kind of ignores the fact that they're clipping through stuff and snaps them there anyway. So I think that's the way it worked. But um, yeah, this is actually a, a precursor to a video I'll be making next where I'll be showing you how to make a uh, like a fully functional perimeter wall that you can walk around that not only looks real but is actually functional as one as well. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone. If you want to see more of my content then obviously subscribe. That's the quickest way you can get up to date with all my stuff and what I'm up to and what builds I'm doing and what tips I'm helping out with and all that good stuff. So yeah, I will see you then. If you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments. Uh, I will try to reply as quickly as I can or um, follow me on Twitter out of Hive is Harry. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you for watching guys. Until next time.